Hi, it's Jess. We have a treat for you the month of September 2020. This is our promotion on Vintage.com retail for DIY purchases of $50 or more. And this is a really cool um, piece that you cannot currently get on our website. This is a pewter antique link. So it's an, um, from an old chain link and cast into this really cool triple link. So it'd be great bracelet connector or a section of a necklace. And what I did here is included a cool glass bead and some 22 gauge artisan copper wire. So to secure this bead to the center of the link, what you're going to do is simply string the wire on, and this is a three inch piece of wire that will be included in this connector kit. And stringing that to the center, placing it on the center um, circle, and then I'm making sure that these links connecting the circles, um, it's the completely closed side, so not the this open side of the link. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually just knowing that that's centered, I'm going to remove the bead and wrap the first part of wire and then we'll string the bead back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coiling the wire around this pewter link and I'm gonna do three coils. Tuck this back through the opening. And then you're going to want the end of the wire to stop like on the inside um, of this circle. So we'll use a flush cutter to trim that little extra piece of wire. And then you can tuck it in. And then use your pliers to make sure your coils are together. Now we'll string on this bead, and now this time I'm going to have, so the coils are on this side of the bead, now I'm going to wrap them on the opposite side. So this is when it gets a little tricky because you're trying to hold everything together and the bead's on there. So now we'll string the wire through. Now we can straighten everything back out again once this is finished. So this little opening between the bead and the connector where the wire can pop through. And again, I'm gonna end back here. You can see I have just enough wire. Let's tuck that in. Go ahead and crimp those coils tightly together on both sides. So you're going to see that you have three coils and three. And then when you look at the front of it, just make sure that this is also nice and tight together. There you go. So this bead sits up on top of that center connector and it just makes a super cool chain link. I could see it in a necklace, um, an asymmetrical necklace. We have this cool chain section and then other chain or beads here, or as a focal pendant and something hanging, or again, as a bracelet connector. So check out our sale um, this month for free spirit at vintage.com. You can get more details on how you can receive this kit.